Hello, welcome. Today I'm going to show you a new change about the war participation system and how broken it is. So I'm playing the US. It's January 1940. Germany just declared war on Scandinavia and it means I'm allowed to join the Allies. So let's join the Allies and we're going to join the war. And if we look, we have no war participation, none whatsoever. All these people have all this war participation. We have none. And I want to change that because I don't think it's fair that I have no war participation because I haven't done anything yet. And in the past, it used to be really hard to overcome that. And there's all sorts of new modifiers for what your total war participation is. And it's great. You know, you basically get war participation for doing things in the war. Amazing change. However, it is completely broken that you can just go to the UK and go, hey, you want some fuel? Cool. Here's like 8,000 a day. And hell, we'll even send them some convoys just so they can receive the fuel. And now we're just going to start siphoning their war participation. Look at us go up. Look at us go up the list. We're already the third highest war participation. I've been lend leasing them fuel for four days and they're going down because they've received Lend-Lease. So what I can do is I can Lend-Lease these guys anything. I'm actually gonna Lend-Lease the UK even more stuff. I produced a whole bunch of outdated guns. Here, have 20K. Here, have some support equipment. Have some artillery. It doesn't matter what you Lend-Lease them. As long as you're Lend-Leasing them stuff, you will get war participation for it and you'll steal theirs. If you have somebody who you don't want to have war participation, say the soviet union because you don't want them messing up your peace deal just send them a bunch of useless guns and now as this gets delivered their war participation is going to go through the floor because they're going to have such a high negative penalty from lendlease and it makes sense a little bit that you'd lose war participation from lendlease because while your men are fighting you're not the whole reason the war is being won somebody else is basically bankrolling you so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go through and I'm going to lend lease everyone. As the US, you've got tons of fuel, so that's something I can do. Give them some fuel every day. Give them some guns because I overproduce them intentionally just for this purpose. And, you know, the help is welcome. The AI basically never rejects Lendlease. So this is just foolproof and we'll even give them some convoys so that they can actually receive the Lendlease. And we're just going to go down the list. And now that everyone's accepted it, we're going to be Lendleasing them fuel and we're just going to see our number go up. You know, it's about controlling the peace deal. And by doing this, you know, I'm, I'm already up at 13%. I've done nothing. Oh, that was a nice jump. I guess a bunch of Lendlease just showed up. And I'm going to throw in an extra little tidbit of information while I still have you here. When you get research bonuses for, for airplanes now, you get a research bonus just for the airframe itself. So the US now gets a bonus to light airframes from its CAS effort right here. This 300% bonus, that's a bonus to your medium airframe. And so is this one. So you can use this one to get the 1940 model and this one to get the 1944 model if you want. Naval bomber models also, generally speaking, gives a light airframe bonus. So the US can actually get two 100% bonuses towards its light fighters because they're just airframes now. So let's do a little update. I'm about three full months into doing this and I'm already 56% total war participation. I've done nothing other than Lend-Lease. And I'm going to modify the UK's Lend-Lease. They need more. Their number's not going up high enough. We're going to give them more fuel. So it's now July 1st, 1940, and I already have 81% total participation, only sending Lend-Lease. It's really just the British who I'm struggling to Lend-Lease enough to bring them down to basically zero, but that's fine. I have more equipment to send them. Anyways, I thought I'd just showcase how broken Lend-Lease is and how useful it is to really just gain control of peace conferences without having to use a mod. You know, this is Iron Man compatible. Anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.